Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to show you five subtle changes that are coming in Windows Mobile 6.5. We know about the big things, right? So the new home screen, the new start menu, uh, the marketplace or app store as some people are calling it. But what about the smaller things that are more subtle? Well, we're going to go through those now. Um, so on the right here we have a Windows Mobile 6.1 device, the Sprint Touch Pro, and on the left we have a Windows Mobile 6.5 running on the HTC Touch HD. This is the latest one from XD Developers, and of course it's an early build, so it may not be fully representative of what we will have when devices ship, but we think it's darn close. So let's go through this now. I'm going to open up a File Explorer on both devices. So we go into the Start menu here, and File Explorer, and likewise on this side. And we're starting in the Windows directory, so we can see the same screen across both devices. Now I'm going to do some flick scrolling on the Touch Pro here, and watch what happens. It works, but it's quite notchy, and if you try to accelerate your finger, you can only go so fast, and it's kind of imprecise. And then if you get all the way to the top, which takes a long time, um, you don't get the kind of bounce back that you would get on the iPhone. But if we go to the 6.5 ROM, uh, the flick scrolling is much more sensitive and it's much more realistic. So we can flick our finger lightly or really fast to move it along quickly and it's skipping a little bit because again this is an early build. But you can kind of get the sense that it moves much more naturally when you slide your finger. So if we get to the top, we can see that we've got some kind of, uh, we've got a bounce back action like we have in the iPhone. Which makes it feel more natural. And something else that I want to show you in here, which is the second subtle element that's coming in 6.5, are the soft key menus. So if I press menu here, and then I press menu here, totally different story, right? So on the left, we get very large soft key menus. And to get to the next items downward, you can actually flick your finger and kind of carousel through the options. You don't actually have to tap on the up arrow or the down arrow. You can quickly, you know, use your thumb to move the whole thing up or down, which is going to really help with one-handed usability. Whereas on the HTC Touch Pro or the 6.1 ROM, you have to, you know, take out your stylus or you can use your fingernail to press on a certain item on the screen which doesn't always work because the items are usually pretty small or at least not as big as uh, they are or they will be in 6.5. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, again it's very subtle, is the new tab design. So the tabs now have a little squiggly line rather than being completely flat as found on the 6.5 ROM. Again, a very, very, very small change, but um, it's, it's a little visual refresh that Microsoft has put into place to help make things look fresh. Something else that has changed are the notifications. So if I change the system time here, I will get a notification, and let me do likewise on this side. And you'll see the difference. So in 6.5, the notification is more 3D. It has a shadow, rounded edges, kind of a gradient on the top area here. It kind of looks like a Windows computer, to be honest. Uh, and again, another subtle change, but it helps to really freshen up the look. So I'm going to click Cancel and Cancel on both. And finally, the last thing we're going to show you is the new screen when somebody calls you. Now, on HTC devices, you get a usually a slide to answer or slide to ignore kind of thing, which is great because it prevents you from accidentally answering a call. But Windows Mobile 6.5, or as it looks, will have this natively built in. So I'm going to lock the device, and I'm going to turn off the device and call my phone. And so here it goes, we have two sliders, one will answer and one will ignore. So we're going to do ignore. And again, that only happens if you are, um, if your device is locked at the moment. So that's it for the tour of the subtle new visual changes coming in Windows Mobile 6.5. So to recap, we did the new soft keys, uh, the new notifications, the new scroll bars and kinetic scrolling, the new squiggly tabs, and also finally, the new calling screen that manufacturers can choose to use if they aren't using a custom uh, screen to, to answer calls like HTC does. So that's it for now. For more on Windows Mobile 6.5, be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.